welcome to class. We are going to talk a little bit about what the launch is going to look like next week. So the first thing you need to know is that we were going to have different roles. So you'll be working as a team and your team will either start off as your on deck means your next step to go, you're launching, you might be the team after the launch or you might be waiting your turn. So if you're the team on deck, you're going to weigh the rocket. There's going to be a spring scale that I will uh, show you how to use. You're going to record the length of your entire rocket, estimate the volume of water in your rocket in liters, and record the amount of pressure used today during the launches. So I'll tell you how much pressure. That's if you're on deck. That means if you're next up. Of course, everyone's going to need goggles for our launch. Now, if you're the launcher, if the team is launching, you will the, the first person will be the launcher. They're the person who pulls the string to launch the rocket in the air. Then we have the air filler. That's the person who pumps the air from the bike pump into the rocket. We have the recorder. They're going to record the date, time, weather. Was it successful launch? They're going to record how long the rocket was in the air. We have three timers for that and um, the egg survival. So there's gonna be a separate sheet that will be attached to a clipboard, so the recorder will be writing that down for their teammates launch. And then finally, there's a person to film the launch so that you can review it later. So let's say you only have three people in your group. Your Kate is gonna be there to help so she can record the launch. After each one, you're gonna move on to the next role. So if you were the launcher first in your team, now you're gonna be the air filler. If you were the air filler, now you're gonna be the recorder and you'll go rotate through that till everyone on your team has launched their rockets. Now, after you're done launching, you're, you have a job to do for the next team. So you, three people from your team, are going to become the timers for the group. So you'll get those timers, those stopwatches, and you're going to help record the time. Everyone who's waiting, they have goggles. You're watching each team for ideas, inspiration, or getting your stuff together to be on deck. So here's the group order and the group. So these groups were just your breakout groups from last time. Your group says um, what order your group's going in in the class and also which order you're going to be in. So, for example, in Quest 1, who's launching on Monday, uh, Group 1, Bodhi is going to be the launcher first. And then uh, the next launcher first group is going to be Dara, then Julia, then Maya, and that's how it's going to work. Now, for Quest 2, same thing. Actually, instead of Tuesday, we're going to be meeting on Wednesday because Tuesday is a wilderness day. So that's a little bit about the, um, the different jobs. Now, where are you gonna record all of that good information? There is actually a test log. So this will be printed. There's gonna be a Google Doc version also, but this will be printed. So if you are the recorder, you're gonna write the recorder, who's in charge of timing, who's in charge of launching, and then you're gonna write the date, the time, the weather, and of course, we're all working on rocket design number one. This part should already have been filled up while they are on deck, so like how much the rocket weighs, the volume pressure rocket, and then you're going to keep track, was it successful? Did the rocket actually leave the air, or did it break, or something happen? What are the three times? Did the egg survive? And any sort of notes that you wanna add here. These two parts are for the designer, the engineer. Once they get, get back, they'll think about what kind of ideas they want to redesign their rocket based on the lunch. And also, uh, they're gonna put a link to the video. So the day of the launch, you'll have a paper copy, but then you're going to transfer all that information onto this Google Doc. Now you have watched the video about what the launch is about. Just a reminder that during this work time, you can also check the assignment tracker and make up any missing classwork. But let's go to the classwork that is due today. So you should have opened up this doc and it is all about launch preparation. So right now you're watching this video. The next thing to do is to preview the bottle rocket test log so you know what information you need to record for next week. This is what I previewed in the video. So just take a look and make sure you don't have any questions. After you've previewed that, you can go on to finishing your bottle rocket design one on Google Classroom. Make sure you include a diagram and answer the questions. So that is bottle rocket design one.
you should have um, answered the questions in the Google Doc and included a design, either a photo of your drawing or you made a Google Draw or something like that. So that's the next thing to do during this work time. Um, if that is approved, so if there, your design was approved, you are working on your bottle rocket at home. Just make sure you finish your rocket, at least your first draft of your prototype of your rocket, before class next week. Also, please bring your rocket to school next week in person. Don't forget the bottle cap because you'll need that to hold the water in as you carry it to Dolores Park. And then the last thing to do during class time is read the instructions below so that you really understand what's happening during lunch and you know what order your group is going in. And that's it for today. Once you do all of those things, you could go back to Google Classroom on your classwork for today and you can click turn in when you're finished. Have a great day.